Hey, it's Jeff Summers with Watch You Know, and today's topic is the Hamilton Khaki Field Watch reference number 69439511. In this video, I am going to give you an overview of the watch. We'll spend some time with it. You'll get some close-ups, some great video and pics as well. Then I'm going to take it outside, let you see what it looks like in the sunlight. And finally, I will give you my honest opinion on this timepiece. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Hello, people. I have in my hands the most iconic field watch in the world. A Hamilton khaki field watch, 38 millimeter and sapphire crystal, no reflection coating. It is a bead blasted finish. Let's get a, a close up on this finish. We have a 12 and 24 hour dial with some faux patina on the hands and on the markers. So that is a point of controversy of a lot of people that uh, have reviewed this watch. I'll tell you what I feel about it a little bit later. And the loom is strong on this. You'll see a, a very bright loom on this watch. I have it off of the band because I'm going to show you how easy it is to put on um, and take off the native strap on this watch in just a minute. So let's go over to the side of the watch. You'll notice that Hamilton insignia on the side of the watch, kind of resembling two stars. And the operation of the watch is quite easy, so let me go ahead and show you that. You pull out the crown, and notice when you do pull out the crown, it's hacking. And of course it's hacking. That's because this is a military-inspired watch, which has its ties all the way back to the early 1900s. Now, this design was used in World War II and Vietnam with the extra large crown. So this is, is really a celebration of those watches that were used by the United States military. And when the crown is pulled out, of course, it's hacking. So the reason why I bring up the military aspect is because when you have to do a military procedure at a certain exact time and your life is in danger if the time is not lined up with the rest of your comrades it could be a fatal thing so you can set these watches really easily because when you pull this out you can stop it and the next guy will have his running and then when he gets to there, like let's say it was at 10, then you could stop it right there. See that on that on that 10 turning of the crown. It's quite easy to do and has a really nice sound and feel about it. The back of the watch, which you can't see with the NATO strap on, so that's kind of nice that we start out like this so you can see this. Hamilton and then there's their insignia Swiss made of course Hamilton began its roots in Lancaster Pennsylvania but then eventually made its way over to Switzerland and that's where they're produced now not entirely as Hamilton watches are produced in over 156 production centers around the world it came with this strap which is a nice leather NATO strap it says Hamilton on it but I want to show you what it looks like on, on this one. And this is, is rather inexpensive. And I'll show you how easy it is to put these things on. You just got to make sure this side here is down right there. 
and you come through like this. All right, and then you do it right here, just pull it, and there you go. Okay, and uh, it's that easy. Well, and if you want to put a two piece on here, it makes it a lot easier with the drilled lugs. And that's how it looks on this type of NATO strap, this nylon strap. Probably a little bit more appropriate look to it uh, as far as the military vibe of the watch. Now, the movement on this watch is a Hamilton H50, which is really a modified ETA 2801-2. They've taken the vibration rate of the ETA from 28,800 vibrations per hour and knocked it back to 21,600 and increased the barrel size. And the reason for this is to maximize the power reserve of the watch, which is a large number. It is 80 hours. So this watch has an 80 hour power reserve, as opposed to the ETA 2801-2, which had 42 hour power reserve. So they really essentially doubled that power reserve time. So what that makes it possible is that on Friday, you take the watch off, and then on Monday, you can put it back on and it'll still be running. And this movement is very common on the German Jungens watch and the Swiss Meistersinger watches. Okay, so Hamilton has a two year warranty, but it's a Hamilton and you really probably won't have any problems with the watch. All right, so now we're gonna see this watch outside in the sun and in natural light, because that can take on a different characteristic than it would under a fluorescent light, such as we're looking today, right now. So here's a final close-up. We'll see you outside. Okay, we're out here battling the elements and there goes the deer. You'll notice that there is some glare because there is no anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal. However, it's pretty easy to tell the time because of the simplicity of the dial. I have it on my NATO strap of choice. And there we go, the Hamilton Khaki Field Watch out in the woods. Okay, so now my opinion on the Hamilton Khaki Field Watch. And I'm gonna give you the three things that I like most about this watch and the three things that I like the least about this watch. So let's cover the good. I love the functionality of this watch. That, by definition, is what a field watch should be about and that is it's easy to read it's easy to tell the time there aren't a lot of distractions on the watch it's just right there what time it is you know it instantaneously and a lot of watches aren't like that you know they're hard to see or they've got you know all kinds of decoration on it this is what it should be on a field watch it's very easy, very easy to read. And the second thing I like about this watch is actually tied into that first reason. It's easy to read at night because the loom, the super luminova that they're using is awesome. Now I've been watch collecting for decades and have over 150 watches. And I've seen reviews on people that say they don't like the loom on this watch or they do like it with my experience with watches this is a fantastic loom now 
The bone of contention with people is the faux patina on top of where the loom actually is. And personally, I, I like it. I think it adds to the vintage character of this watch being a watch that was around essentially in World War II and the Vietnam War, giving it that kind of combat feel, I guess you could say, that vintage feel from days of yore. Okay, so the last thing I must say I like about this watch, if I have to go one, two, three, is the power reserve. This is a great watch to have where you can wear it on Friday, pick it up back up on Monday after the weekend, and it still goes. Because it has 80 hours, 80 hour power reserve. That's double what you get on most watches. So it, that is extremely good. Now, the things I don't like about this watch were tough to find because this is just a fantastic timepiece. I must say that I don't like the fact that it doesn't have anti-glare. I mean, if you really, I mean, look at this. We got some glare coming off. Now, because the dial is so easy to read, it, I mean, in the, in the simplicity of it, but there's glare and, and I just don't let me look at that. You see the reflection of me with it, with the glare. I'm not so excited about that. The second thing I don't like about this watch is the leather NATO that it came with. I should have chosen the nylon NATO that it, that it came with. And it has a nice uh, leather down the middle where the, you know, the holes are that, you, that you're going to, you know, put, attach the you know right, right here into okay so i should have done that at first when you see the unboxing i'm all impressed whoa that looks classy and it does but then i got to thinking do we really want classy in in a field watch and i don't think so i think this looks a lot better and this nato strap is probably about a seven or eight dollar nato strap nothing expensive Yes, you can go out and buy yourself a Phoenix G10. You can buy a Crown and Buckle Supreme NATO. Those are those would show great with with this watch. That would work great with this watch. But even on something basically El Cheapo NATO, I, I I like the look of it. I like the olive on there with it military vibe okay the third thing that i don't like about this watch is that if you were to wear it with a two-piece band which you could and it has these drilled lugs there's just a huge gap there and i don't think it would look right i mean look at that look at that gap so not a fan of that and i must just reiterate that these are nitpicky things about the strap. I mean, you're not really hearing me talk about how the watch is built poorly because it's not. It's it's a Hamilton. I mean, this is a great watch. No wonder so many people think it's the best watch you can possibly buy for under $500, especially for a field watch. So that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. If you like it, we agree. If not, then we don't. So, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching that video on the Hamilton Khaki Field Watch. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 500 subscribers at the time of this recording. And hopefully when you're watching this, that number will be much higher. So please consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you next time with the next watch review. Have a great day. Bye.